As the conflict in Eastern Europe continues to evolve, the world remains watchful as the Western powers keep up with the so-called arsenal of democracy. Amid dozens of American advanced weapon systems that such nations use, the M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, or HIMARS, stands up as a formidable solution that might just make a significant difference. As one of America's most reliable and accessible mobile artillery systems, the HIMARS is a versatile and lethal platform capable of launching a wide variety of ammunition while remaining fast, limber, and safe for its crew. A lighter and faster version of the mighty M270 MLRS, the HIMARS is an ideal solution for modern warfare's complex and ever-shifting battlefields, and its precision, mobility, and range have the potential to make a considerable difference in any conflict. Inception What began as a private venture by Lockheed Martin Missiles and Fire Control to address a known U.S. Army need soon became a significant full-fledged project. In 1996, the U.S. Army Missile Command awarded Lockheed Martin a $23.2 million contract to build four prototypes of its missile launcher design. After an evaluation phase and highly favorable results, the Aviation and Missile Command placed an order for the development of six HIMARS units. Then, in 2003, the U.S. Army officially began mass-producing the missile launchers. Soon, the Marine Corps became interested in the technology and ordered two additional systems for evaluation purposes. The success of the HIMARS was not unexpected, as it is the same launching system used by the formidable M270 multiple launch rocket system. The M270 had been developed as early as the 1970s, when the U.S. realized the Soviet Union had much more capable rocket artillery than the NATO forces. The system consisted of the M269 loader launcher module, which was able to hold and launch 12 missiles one after the other. The module was mounted on the M993 carrier vehicle, a large armored track transporter that propelled the missile launching system. During the 90s and early 2000s, the M270 proved to be a highly accurate, long-range fire support asset that performed better than its Russian counterparts. With the M270 as its starting base, the HIMARS was designed to be a lighter, cheaper, and faster version of the artillery system. Instead of two six-rocket pods, the HIMARS has a single pod, mounted on a standard FMTV truck based on the Austrian Stair 12M18 vehicle. The HIMARS is not only faster and lighter, but also estimated to be a fraction of the cost of a full-fledged M270 MLRS, whose price tag can reach up to $3 million. Outstanding Capabilities The HIMARS was designed chiefly with versatility in mind. It can launch the entire multiple launch rocket system family of munitions, including MLRS practice projectiles, GPS-aided guided multiple launch rocket system rockets, Army Tactical Missile System warheads, or ATACMS, and even the newest replacement to the mighty ATACMS, the Precision Strike Missile. With such a wide variety of ammunition, the HIMARS can achieve an operational firing range anywhere from 5.6 miles using a low-cost reduced-range practice rocket to 310 miles using the state-of-the-art guided Precision Strike Missile. The HIMARS is also specifically built to be transported inside a Lockheed C-130 Hercules aircraft, which increases the unit's deployment possibilities compared to its heavier and larger Cold War-era predecessor. The unit is operated by a three-man crew, one driver, a gunner, and the launcher chief. However, the layout of the firing system allows for a single operator to launch the system's warheads. As such, the HIMARS can be operated by a single serviceman in an extreme emergency situation. The device's fire control system has been constantly upgraded throughout the decades, allowing for swift and reliable targeting capabilities. The system can acquire a target and launch a warhead in a window of just 16 seconds. Additionally, the onboard computer can store advanced pre-programmed multiple mission sequences which can be executed by the crew according to specific operation parameters, thus allowing for the fastest response times possible. Another advantage of the HIMARS system is its compact nature and low profile. 
with a height of only 10 feet and a total length of 23 feet. The artillery system can move inconspicuously while mirroring the dimensions of a regular civilian truck and not making itself an immediately obvious target. Combat Service The HIMARS was first introduced to combat service in May of 2005 when it joined the Afghanistan War. For years, the system proved to be highly effective and reliable, and its use soon expanded to other U.S. military branches. Still, the system's trustworthiness came into question in February of 2010, when two rockets fired from a HIMARS unit were believed to have fallen off target, taking the lives of 12 civilians during Operation Muster Rock. The use of all HIMARS was immediately suspended, awaiting a thorough investigation. The study eventually revealed that the rockets were on point. The targeted location was a known Taliban base, and the civilian casualties had been an unfortunate case of collateral damage. Apparently, the local insurgents had used civilian human shields, a fact that the ISAF forces could not have anticipated. Then, having been absolved of fault, the HIMARS were reinstated into combat service. The devices continued to perform superbly, aiding NATO in eliminating several Taliban commanders and forcing many others to flee to Pakistan for fear of being targeted next. Then, in November of 2015, the U.S. Army announced that it had deployed the HIMARS to Iraq, firing at least 400 projectiles at Islamic State targets. HIMARS detachments were sent to Al-Assad Air Base and al Takadam Air Base in Al-Anbar Governorate where they provided critical support to American troops in the region. In March of 2016, HIMARS entered the Syrian conflict by firing rockets in support of Syrian rebels fighting ISIL while remaining relatively safe from their firing positions in neighboring Jordan. They then continued serving in the ongoing fight against the Islamic State until 2018, becoming an irreplaceable tool in the U.S. and NATO's arsenal. By the campaign's final stages, the artillery systems were launching up to 30 rockets a day, delivering an incessant barrage of destruction to the Islamic State fighters in Syria. Global Presence Although the HIMARS system didn't make it to the Ukrainian battlefield until late June of 2022, the artillery units have already become invaluable assets for the local troops as they fight the Russians. The incredible precision, mobility, and reliability of the HIMARS have allowed the Ukrainian fighters a new way of challenging Russia's grasp over the contested regions. Ukraine's Chief of General Staff, Valery Zaluzhny, recently commented, quote, An important factor contributing to our retention of defensive lines and positions is the timely arrival of M142 HIMARS, which delivers surgical strikes on enemy control posts, ammunition, and fuel storage depots. The results have indeed been remarkable. Even though only six HIMARS systems have been delivered to Ukraine, the U.S. is committed to sending many more units. If the results so far are any indication of what lies ahead, HIMARS is sure to provide an unprecedented advantage for their efforts. The use of the American artillery systems has also benefited Romania, Singapore, Jordan, and the United Arab Emirates, with Australia, Estonia, Poland, and Taiwan recently ordering their first units. Whatever the future of warfare holds, one thing is sure. The mighty and versatile HIMARS will be a part of it. <laughs>